So if you guys follow me on social media, you would have known that Basil had gone downhill really fast. Basil was a year and three months old and by the time a hamster turns a year old, they will usually show signs of aging, which is totally normal. A year is when a hamster starts to get older because a hamster's lifespan is usually a year and a half to two years old. Not all hamsters are going to age as fast as others because every hamster is different just like humans. Um, some 60 year olds are really rough looking when there's 80 year olds who are like energetic um, and things like that. So I went to film a video and I went to take Basil out and I had noticed he really just wasn't looking good. He was had no balance, he didn't really have any of his energy, and he was losing fur a lot faster than he was before. That is when I decided that those were going to be Basil's last couple of days just be based on how he was acting. Um, I could tell that he was just aging and that is just what is hap going to happen. So then sadly Basil passed away um, in his sleep peacefully. Thankfully, it, he wasn't in any pain or anything like that. It was just peacefully. So sadly, Basil did pass away. And a lot of people ask me, how do you deal with pet loss? And this is a really hard topic to talk about because it can be really hard, um, obviously, because you are losing your friend, something that you took care of that is really important to you. I want to first start off by saying there is no right or wrong way to cope. You, can, you are allowed to cry, you also don't have to cry. If you aren't that emotional, do not feel too bad. If you're really emotional, also don't feel too bad. There is no right or wrong way to cope. A lot of the times people will be like, oh, you don't seem sad enough, um, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what the other person thinks. It's how you grieve. Everybody's different. Nobody is going to be the same. So pet loss definitely is not easy and like I said, everybody grieves differently. But the things that I have found to be very helpful is to be, of course, you can be sad the first little bit that your hamster has passed away. Um, I sometimes cry. I always make sure to think about the good memories and things like that. And especially if your hamster did pass away from old age, Please don't put it on yourself that it's your fault or anything like that. If you gave your hamster a good life, remember that. Another thing that you might want to do is distract yourself from thinking about it. Maybe go out and do something, um, clean, things like that. So a lot of times people will ask me, well, what do you do with your hamster's body once they've passed? I personally like to put my hamster inside of a little, it's a little pie box that my mom gets, but I put them in one of those boxes and I put some bedding and I put one of maybe one of their favorite chew toys or something like that. I tape it up and then I write their name on the box and I write something nice. And then we go out in my backyard and we dig a hole and we bury them. And then I can put a stone on top of it, um, something nice for them. Another question I often get is when should I get another hamster? if you do indeed want to own another hamster after your previous one has passed. This all depends on you yourself. If you decide you want to wait a week or you want to wait a couple of days before getting a new one, if you want to wait a month, if you want to wait a couple of years before getting a new hamster, that is all on you. And no one should be criticized if they decide to get a new hamster right away or if they decide to wait a couple of years. I also do want to say that I myself have gone through quite a bit of deaths. I've owned hamsters for 10 years now and I've had quite a bit of hamsters and it never gets easier when a pet passes away. Um, it's still upsetting. But you do find ways of coping with it and realizing that this is the life cycle. Hamsters do not live very long lives and you kind of need to accept that. And that is kind of just how the life cycle works. So now I want to do a little bit of a tribute to Basil. And usually when I do these videos they are often really sad. They have really sad music. But I don't think... Basil would want one of those. Um, Basil was a crazy hamster. He would climb everywhere. He escaped his cage so many times. He had probably one of the most adventurous lives a hamster could have. And I just think he deserves something fun and happy to remember him by. And so yeah, I hope you enjoy the clips and pictures that you see of Basil.
Oh, 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 oh,